Okay guys, as promised, I didn't think y'all actually want to vlog for this because I really didn't take a lot of video, but here is my trip to Savannah, Georgia for St. Patrick's Day. I rode down with my friend Candace. Um, if you have booked me for a private dinner, then you probably already know her. She is my sous chef. So we arrived uh, Friday around three or four o'clock and we went straight downtown. Again, y'all, I'm so sorry I did not take a lot of footage. This is pretty much it, just pictures. I like to live in a moment if I'm not going for a business trip. Of course, I always record, but I try to actually be Aaron and not that chocolate vegan sometimes when I go places. Um, the next morning, Candace cooked everybody breakfast. So we stayed with my line sister, Nene. Thank you so much, girl, for letting us stay with you. Now, she stays in Hinesville, Georgia, so it was about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on traffic, away from Savannah, but free is free, okay? although I did rent a car. But anyway, um, Candace cooked the next morning. She even cooked my breakfast as well. I had brought along some just egg because, you know, I'm this ain't my first year being vegan, okay? So again, we went downtown Savannah, had a great time, y'all. We seeked out, you know, where the party was. I was red tea. I tried this um, bold filter on my face, y'all. Just, no, still looking like a whole man. I hate it. It just don't look good on me from TikTok. So let's skip to my real face, okay? So we went to a party on the rooftop. Now, of course, this was like a $5 party. It probably was free most days, but Savannah is getting out their whole coins. It was a cute little football game that erupted between the rooftops. That I thought that was hilarious. Um, we danced. We had a good time. We met some people. Um, here are the historic steps. Um, please be careful going down these. It'll say it, of course, but these steps are no joke, okay? So here we are going down to River Street to see just more people. Like Savannah on a regular day, y'all, it's pretty boring. I ain't gonna hold you, but during holidays, it is fun. Kind of like a New Orleans vibe, but just older people were there. Um, I was actually nervous about going to Savannah, not for the food, but I thought it was gonna be a bunch of college kids, but I think the millennials have officially taken over because I did not see anybody under 25. Not saying they weren't there, but I just physically did not see anybody who looked like they were on spring break, okay? So some of the friends we met were from Jacksonville, Florida. They actually paid for us to go to another rooftop, which was $20, which I know is never that serious for me, but I did feel bougie. We had a great time with them. I think Candace got their numbers, but I did not. Okay, y'all, now let's move on to the food. I did not get a chance to go to an all-vegan restaurant, not because Candace was there, because she was more than willing to go, just wasn't in the schedule, and Candace did cook every day. She truly enjoys it. I admire her passion for it, but I also resented her a little bit for it because your girl wanted to get something to eat, but it's all good. We did get a chance to go to Kayak Cafe in Savannah, Georgia. This does have its own parking lot, so no worry about paying for parking, but also not very walkable from wherever you might be staying. So we got the hummus and the cauliflower wings to start off with. The cauliflower wings were okay. They were supposed to be spicy. They barely were, but I can take spice. Also, they were a little soft, as in I like them fried hard. It was kind of like they fried them and maybe left them in the sauce too long while they were making the hummus. I don't know, I don't know, but it was good though. They were, they were the flavor was great. This whole restaurant is actually really, really good. Flavors are fresh. Um, and I know y'all probably sick of me saying the word fresh, but that's just how I describe it. Like it wasn't soul food slap your mama. It was just, ooh, mmm, very fresh. I don't know what to say. Anyway, now I am eating the tiger tofu tacos. They were okay, like again, like I'll come back to this place. Don't get it twisted. I'll come back every single time I go to Savannah. It was a nice refreshing meal before me, I mean, you know. It was a nice, refreshing meal before you're gonna go walking downtown in the sun, in the crowd. You, you need some nutrients in your life. I will definitely highly recommend Kayak Cafe on your stop. Just don't expect it to be like, like I said, like seasoned down, all right? This was pretty much my trip to Savannah, Georgia. I definitely will be back. I don't know about next year, but definitely by 2025, I'll be back for St. Patrick's Day in Savannah because I really did have a good time. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching my super short vlog and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.